it's oh. time for Album. <laughs> Mitch well, Album. Do you a remember? very successful author. Oh, my goodness. Tuesdays with Maury. It was a required reading for was half a, the planet. It was a craze, right? A couple of billion copies sold, I'm sure. Uh, his, his latest book is out in paperback now. It's called The First Phone Call from Heaven, soon to be a major motion picture. Mitch Album, welcome back to Good Day. Thank you. Nice to see you guys again. So, since you were last here with the hard copy, it's now come out in a soft copy. Just today. Today, congratulations. Mm -hmm. And soon to be a movie. Yeah. How, how soon? Uh, I would imagine in the next two years, within the next two years. Hollywood is a little funny that way, but yeah, yeah they got the script in, and uh, Warner Brothers is making it, and it's that kind of story. I think it'll make a nice movie. Tell us the story, please. Well, it's a story about uh, one day this small little town in Michigan wakes up, the phones start ringing, and it's people calling from heaven. Uh, only it only happens in this one little small town, and it only happens to a handful of people. And the story follows what happens when the news gets out and the world begins to discover this, and everybody starts converging on this town, bringing their phones, and they all want to be a part of it. Uh, and, of course, some people think it's a hoax, and some people think this is the greatest miracle on Earth. And, and it all kind of swells into this whole big thing with one guy who's determined to prove that it's got to be false, only he's surprised uh, at the end. And if I tell you any more, I'll ruin not only the book, but the movie. <laughs> <laughs> but the people love you because they call you the king of hope. I mean, there's always a bit of optimism um, and faith. And are you like that in your normal life? Yes. Um, I wasn't always. But probably after uh, my experience with Maury and